Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Frostbite's Gaming Experience, part 15 of the Pokemon Blue walkthrough. So, we just got done taking care of the Rocket Hideout, but obviously we are not yet done with this city, because we still got a gym that we gotta take care of, you know, but first off, let's go ahead and sell some things, mostly the nuggets. And I, I think I show this off because I think in the past I forgot to show off selling the nuggets. I don't fully remember. I'm, I'm not exactly sure. But anyway, so because all we're doing is taking care of the gym, um, relatively short part, under 13 minutes, I believe, and all it is is just the gym itself. Um, so dealing with grass types... So, obviously, we're going to have nothing but Charmeleon just take the helm. This is also, I believe, about the part, if I'm not mistaken, where I actually learned Slash. And just to showcase how unbelievably strong Slash really is. And this guy's a perv, by the way. In fact, I talked to him to show off of that. This is a guy that just chills out outside the gym and is just, you know, just engrossed in the fact that it is a gym full of nothing but females... Obviously all underage. This guy's a creep. Simple as that. But anyway, so you would think that, obviously, because of the fact that it is a grass-style gym. You could even really say it's really a grass-poison-style gym. Because, especially in Gen 1, a lot of the grass types were also part poison. You know, you got Bell Sprout, um, Weeping Bell, and Victory Bell, grass poison. Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, um, Venusaur. Grass Poison, you've got um, Oddish, Gloom, and Vile Pume. Vile Plume. Plume? Pume? Eh, whatever. Uh, I'm, I'm so tired, it doesn't even matter. Also Grass Poison. So you can really say that she's a Grass Poison style gym, and not just a full-on Grass type gym. I don't even know if there's any pure Grass types in this gym. There is. It's Tangela, actually. Tangela's pure grass type and is in this. And I'm trying to remember... I, I walked straight up because I thought that she would notice me and fight me, but obviously did not. I'm trying to remember if Execute is also in this gym or not. I do not know. I know, I know it mostly comprises of grass poison typings above all else, but I do know that... Um, you do go against a Tangela at one point or another. But maybe, if, maybe it's even the gym leader herself. Is it the gym leader herself? Let me see. It is indeed the gym leader herself. Probably one of the other ones has this too. I don't know. Again, recorded this months ago. And I know I said that numerous amounts of times. But, the fact of the matter is, I'm about two seconds away from falling asleep. It is, it's insane. But, I wanna... I need to get this one done. Maybe one more. But, I think I should probably... Wait... And I know, it's getting kind of ridiculous because I pick, like, the, because of my job, I don't get home till like, super late. And so because of that, I can really only realistically do these at night. I could do them in the morning before going to work, but I'm usually relatively busy in the morning before going to work anyways. That really, about the time that I do this at night, which I know may not sound late for a lot of people, but, you know... Doing this about like one in the morning, for me, that's super late. Like, I'm generally a guy that's usually asleep by about 10 o'clock. You know, I am one of those guys that's usually early to bed, early to rise. That's just kind of how I am. I went through my whole entire up till like staying up till about four or five in the morning phase and like high school and college. And then, you know, you get a job being a manager where you're essentially up at 5 a.m. every single day and eventually you just get warped to the point where you're like, okay, I'm pretty much always going to be going to sleep at about 9, 10 o'clock and waking up at 5. Nowadays, it's gotten to the problem where my body almost literally will always wake up at 8 o'clock no matter what. I have had days where I went to sleep at 5 in the morning because I'd be so busy the night before and not be able to get to sleep till 5 and still end up waking up at 8 a.m. No alarm, nothing to do. Like, I could have gone right back to bed and gone to sleep, but physically, for whatever reason, my body will will just not let me. It, it's ridiculous. Like, the minute eight o'clock hits, it's like my body knows, and my body is like, oh, up and at him, man, you've been, you've slept in. 
Like, you need to get up and get on with your life. That's kind of what it feels like a lot of the time. And I really wish I was kidding. Um, but because of that, um, when you do you know, have a job that keeps you up, I mean, I, I get up for like 11, then I go hit the gym, take care of all that stuff. And generally, by the time I'm done with everything, I'm usually basically back at home and ready, you know, about, about 1 o'clock. 12.30 sometimes, it usually depends how long I stay at the gym, but generally get home, shower, you know, get some food in me for the night, that kind of stuff. You know, I'm pretty much ready to go at like 1 o'clock. And when you're used to falling asleep at about 9 or 10 o'clock, going to sleep at about 1 o'clock, you know, staying up that late is pretty intense. But, obviously then it's like, well, I've also got to like get some audio recording done because especially right now we just learned slash it's a good day anyways especially right now because i'm kind of starting to fall a little bit behind because of how busy may got where originally what i would do is i would have i would i would render the videos for uploading a week before uploading them so i could stay ahead of the curve so you know and it was a good thing i did that because you know now i'm sitting here and even though i'm technically behind i'm really not because i'm doing the audio recording for the parts that are going to be uploaded this week instead of uh, doing the audio parts for the parts of next week so what i was supposed to do now i just gotta get myself caught up to where okay I, there is an execute i thought so all right but anyways I, I do need to get back to the point where it's like i can get everything done a week before and it's a little bit harder because of the fact that it's post commentary because generally I do everything with live commentary and it's way easier that way obviously because I play the game I do the live commentary right then and there we're good to go when it comes to Pokemon I have to do you know the run through the, the test run through the real run through finish off the game edit them render them then watch them as you know it's going on for the post commentary then re-render them again and generally especially because it fell on may my busiest month anyways getting it all like set up and put together um it, it just it, it fell behind a little bit so that's kind of why i'm generally more tired than what i really should be when doing these is because i'm doing them later than what was originally planned because of the fact that you know the way I have to set it all up and because of how busy I got the past month just trying to get all the audio parts done like trying to find this timing to fit it all in only really happens at about one in the morning so that's why I'm generally really tired but you know hopefully I can get it back to where I'm not behind to where you know I don't have to do them so late at night you know I mean I'm almost gonna have to anyways because that's like the only free time I really have to you know do them but it'll be easier because it's like oh then I could just whatever play the game I'm playing for like an hour without having to pre-set up everything and get all these notes and whatnot and I can just play it do my dumb commentary play the game horribly and then call it a day go to bed and then you know throughout the rest of the week just be like okay 15 minutes cut 15 minutes cut Whereas in this case, I gotta, yeah, it's just, uh, talking about it is just making me even more tired. Oh my god, I'm like, I'm so out of it. We're relatively close to being done. We got this trainer here, and then we've got the gym leader herself, and relatively not too bad. But I remember speaking about it way earlier. So generally you would think that because it is a grass gym, you know, because I'm using the fire type, that, you know, just using the fire type attacks is, you know, going to be the best way to go. But the thing is... Slash is the best way to go because if you've been paying attention throughout my whole entire talking at this point um, If you've actually been watching the video itself, I have not missed a single critical hit yet And I believe I mentioned it before and I, until I see it I'm not you know, I'm pretty sure it happens this way I don't think I miss a single critical hit on slash throughout the entirety of the game I don't think there's a single slash that I do that does not end up being a critical hit and that's why even when going against grass type Pokemon, we go out of our way to use Slash over, you know, Ember. Because we haven't learned Flamethrower yet. Spoiler warning, we never learned Flamethrower. Will really messed up on that one, guys. You'll see what I mean later on. Anyways, um, 
and Slash just has a higher power. It, it's, it's pretty much a guaranteed crit because of how fast Charmeleon is when he does it. And it's it's an, it's insane, you know? Plus, Charmeleon, I believe, has a higher uh, physical uh, stat than he does special. And generally, most of these grass types um, have more defense than special, uh, give or take a few. But even, th um, even then, it's like Slash just crushes them. It's not even close. Anyway, so we have Erica, gym leader of the uh, grass of the whole entire area, and oh my goodness, okay, head on straight. So let's try that again. This is Erica, the Celadon City gym leader. All right. So first up, we got ourselves a victory bell, level 29, knowing Razor Leaf, Wrap, Poison Powder, and Sleep Powder. Relatively annoying if it can land the Sleep Powder and get a wrap on you. Even more annoying, obviously if it can get poison powder on you to poison you and then wrap you because then you're going to be stuck in a continuous wrap attack and no matter and you're going to be taking poison at the end of it anyways so definitely probably the tougher of the three to go against afterwards it's relatively easy so tangela only knowing constricted bind and that is it there is nothing else that this tangela can do not exactly the best way to showcase your first time out there, Tangela. You're making me not want to catch you, bro. It's just as simple as that. Last but not least, we got Vile Plume, Petal Dance, Poison Powder, Sleep Powder, and Mega Drain. Big um, move on here is the Mega Drain. Um, I think I believe it's 60. No, no. Mega Drain, I think, is only 40 power. It's Giga Drain that I believe is 60 power. But anyways, absorbs the health off of you. But because of the fact that we are Fire type, it doesn't really do that much. So really, it only does about maybe 4 damage at max to us and only regains about 1 to 2 health right on back. That's really about it. Again, the Victory Bell is probably going to be the bigger problem. Um, if, if you would even consider them a problem <clears throat> because of the fact that Victory Bell is the fastest and if it does land a Poison Powder and does land the Wrap right afterwards and you're taking a lot of continuous damage over time and it's relatively annoying to go against but again generally not that hard in fact Erica could be considered one of the easier gym leaders to go against because at this point you know you're relatively grind up with whatever team you already have and again it Aside from the Victory Bell, uh, Tangle is no problem. Vile Plume, yeah, maybe, but again, if you if you took Charmander first, you're gonna crush this pretty much no matter what, anyways. But like I said, I would probably consider this the easiest gym of the game, but that's kind of just me. But that's it. Sell it on City is done. Like we don't ever have to come back here. We do, but we don't ever have to. You know, I mean, all we gotta do is take care of the rocket hideout, get the gym, and then we're good to go. And generally around this point, we already have cut, obviously. Oh yeah, we do have to come back because there is one item that we can't get until we learn Surf. So there is a reason why we do have to come back eventually anyways. But, with that said, that is gonna do it for the part. And that is gonna do it for me tonight because that bed right over there that I am staring at has got my name written all over it. And... Yeah, I'm just super tired right now, and I'm ready to call it a crash. So you guys enjoy the rest of your evening. I know I'm going to enjoy the rest of my evening. And we'll catch you guys in the next part, where hopefully I'll be a little bit more awake for you guys. Catch you guys then.